if a guy called Noah has two thousand pounds and he invests it into a bank that pays five percent simple interest per year, he'll make something called interest, which is based off of the amount he invested and the interest rate offered by the bank. The interest is the extra money that Noah gets every year on top of the two thousand pounds in return for investing his cash. And when this interest paid by the bank is the same every year, this is known as simple interest. A couple of useful keywords for you to learn are the words principal, which is the original amount invested. In Noah's case, the principal would be the £2,000 he invested and the interest rate, which is the rate at which Noah earns interest on top of his investment. In this case, it's the interest rate paid by the bank of 5%. And the interest rate is usually given as a percentage. Now, assuming we wanted to calculate Noah's interest after the first year, a way we could do this is by taking 5%, the interest rate of 2000 pounds, the principal amount. And we can do this without a calculator. Because if we know that 10% of 2000 pounds is equal to 200 pounds, then we should be able to see that 5% of 2000 pounds is equal to 100 pounds, which is a half of 200 pounds. And so the interest that Noah makes after the first year is £100. Now, assuming we wanted to calculate the total interest that Noah makes after five years, well, we could do this by first drawing a table where we have each year going up to year five in the first column. And from working out the simple interest after each year, we can then work out the total interest after five years. Now we had just calculated that the interest after year one was a hundred pounds. And because this is simple interest, it means that the interest after each year would be the same fixed amount of a hundred pounds. So working from this column, we can work out the total interest after each year. After year one, the total interest would of course be a hundred pounds. After year two, the total interest would be the hundred pounds made after year one plus the hundred pounds made after year two, giving us 200 pounds. After year three, the total interest would be the hundred pounds made after year one plus the hundred pounds made after year two plus the hundred pounds made after year three, which is equal to 300 pounds. And hopefully you can now see that in order to get the total interest for the next year, we just keep adding a hundred pounds. And so the total interest that Noah receives after five years is 500 pounds. But I'm sure you would agree that that was a pretty long way to solve this problem. And in fact, there's a much quicker way to do this if you have a calculator. Now notice that we worked out the total interest by adding a hundred to itself five times. Or in other words, by doing 100, which was the simple interest paid to Noah after every year, multiplied by five, which was the number of times this interest was paid. In GCSE questions, this number will normally be equal to the number of years. Now, the way we calculated this 100 pounds previously was by working out 5% of 2,000 pounds. But another way we could have got the 100 pounds was by multiplying 2,000 pounds, which is the principal amount, by 0 0.05, which is the decimal equivalent of the interest rate 5%. And if we times this by five, we get exactly the same value of 500 pounds. So by timesing the principal by the interest rate as a decimal by the number of years, we managed to work out the total interest in a single calculation. For simple interest questions in general, you can calculate the total interest after a number of periods or years by using the following formula, that the total interest is equal to P times I times N, where P is the principal amount, I is the interest rate, and N is the number of periods. Although the interest rate is usually given as a percentage in the question, you need to convert this into a decimal when using it in this formula. 
and the number of periods in most questions is usually the number of years. In some books, you might see the variable R used instead of I for the interest rate, but I like to use I instead because it makes up the word PIN, which is easier to remember when you think about the fact that simple interest is fixed or pinned to a value, okay? You might also be asked to calculate the total amount the NOAA has after each year. And this is simple because all you need to do is add the principal amount, which was £2,000, to the total interest made after that year. Okay, so after year one, the total amount that NOAA has is £2,100. After year two, the total amount that NOAA has is £2,200 which comes from adding £2,000 to £200 and so on. Okay, so let's have a look at some typical problems involving simple interest. For the following questions, we're going to assume that you can use a calculator. So the first question says that £800 is invested for three years at 2% simple interest per year. Part A asks us to work out the interest after one year. From the question, we can see that we've been given the principal amount, which is £800, and we know the simple interest rate, which is equal to 2%. So we can use the PIN formula to work out the first part of this question. So using the formula, we get that the interest after one year is equal to 800 the principal amount, times 0 0.02, which is the decimal equivalent of 2%, times by N which in this case is equal to one because we've been asked to work out the interest after one year. Working this out in your calculator, you get that the interest after one year is equal to 16 pounds. For part B, we've been asked to work out the total interest. Now, given that the money was invested for three years, the total interest would be the total amount made after three years. So using the PIN formula, where N is equal to three, we get that the total interest after three years is equal to 800 times by 0 0.02 multiplied by three. And if you use your calculator, you'll get that the answer is 48 pounds. Part C asks us to work out the total amount. So to find the total amount, all we need to do is add the principal amount, which was 800 pounds to the total interest, which we've just calculated to be 48 pounds to give us that the total amount is equal to 848 pounds, okay? The next question tells us that Ellie invests 240 pounds in her bank for four years. At the end of the four years, she had 283 pounds 20 in her account. What is the rate per year of simple interest Ellie's bank pays her? By using the information that's been given in the question, we can work out the interest rate by using the PIN formula. Now we can see that P, the principal amount, is equal to 240 pounds, which is the original amount that Ellie invested. I, the interest rate, well, we don't know I, that's precisely what we're trying to find. And because we've been given information about the total amount that she had in her account after four years, we can set N equal to four. So we've got P, we've got N, and if we're able to find the total interest over the four years, we'll be able to rearrange this equation to make either subject and solve to find the interest rate. To find the total interest after four years, we simply need to subtract the total amount that Ellie had in her account after four years, which was £283.20 from the principal amount, which was £240. And that gives us £43.20. And if we substitute these values into the PIN equation, we get that 43.20 is equal to 240 times I times 4. And therefore, 43.20 is equal to 960I. And we got the 960 by multiplying 240 by 4. And if we divide both sides by 960, we get that I is equal to 0 0.045. Now, as we've been asked to find the rate, you need to convert this into a percentage, and therefore the rate per year is 4.5%. Okay, if you like this video, please give us a like, 
leave your comments down below and subscribe to the channel so that you'll be the first to know when we release the next video.